Gentleman Jack back at it once again with Jack in the Box Collectibles. As you know, guys, I like to show you some of my recent gets and some of the stuff I've been having in my collection for a while. But right now, I think uh, um, I think I'm going to show you guys some of my newest uh, WWE Elites. If you saw the prior video, I showed you I was on a toy hunt. And I saw some of these guys in the shit store, and I just want to show some, show you, show you, show you guys, kind of tongue twisted, um, some of my most recent gets right here from the uh, SummerSlam line. You have the newest version of Sensational Sherry. Now this 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 line right here consists of um, Sensational Sherry, Rey Mysterio. Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton, and um, I only bought uh, Sensational Sherry, uh, Randy Orton, and uh, Shawn Michaels. Um, for the most part, the Ray was cool. Um, it it kind of reminded me of uh, Jax. Ray Mysterio that came out in the early 2000s that I already have. And that's what it was pretty much based on, uh, early 2005 Ray. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I may get it to just go ahead and fill in the uh, rest of the uh, the set. I'm not really interested in having a Dominique figure. He looks pretty weird to me. As you can kind of see right there. See the little face. And this is the Shawn Michaels right here. Cool figures. Um, you know, I, I pretty much pick up all the Legends figures. I don't really uh, collect much of the uh, the newer figures. Uh, in the set, uh, you know, unless I may pick up a Roman Reigns every now and then. But I'm more or less a Legends guy. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But anyway, this is the Sensational Sherry. And this... Uh, SummerSlam Elite Set, newest one, you might want to check your, this is Shawn Michaels from 2005 when he went against Hogan, this is kind of like a companion piece to the Hogan that uh, uh, came out in the Elite Set not too long ago, the more recent scan of uh, the most, the more recent uh, Hogan, uh, and uh, this is the Randy Orton. And the Randy Orton is pretty slick. This is from his Evolution days when he first uh, won the WWE Championship and was the youngest WWE Champion of all time. Let me stop moving it. I know he's like, stop moving it, dude. Let me see the back of it. All right. I'm going to pause that. I'm a mental car collector. So, again, I don't really open my figures. Um, I'm sure you mint on card guys understand how that is. You want to keep your stuff mint on card and pristine. I've been collecting collecting mint on card for years. Anyway, this is the SummerSlam set. And again, I may go back and get that Ray Mysterio. You know, I haven't decided yet. But let me show you guys what else I got. The newest set. Of Legends. Now, if these would be my favorite period, if they only made um, Legends and they didn't have Legends in the uh, re regular Elite line, I probably wouldn't buy regular Elite figures if it wasn't for the Legends, but you know, this is pretty much when Mattel first brought these out originally before they stopped the line the first time. This was the this was the main draw for me. That Legends line. And this is the Kane. This is Kane from uh around like two thousand three. That look. Which I I believe they've released this before. Um, but they're giving it to us again. They've kind of been doing that lately where they'll release the same figure. Maybe, maybe give us a different scan. 
you know, which is not bad on the cooler figures. This is Kane. And I think that's my TV in the background, guys. It's making that reflection. Maybe I need to turn it off. But that's Kane. He comes with a tag team title. Um, I think based off the time, he, he won it with, um, with uh, Rob Van Dam. Also in the set, you get X-Pac. Um, this is from, I, I mean, you, you have to know this is a, this is from when the Generation X, um, uh, invaded WCW, so this completes that set, uh, we've gotten the Road Dog, we've gotten the Billy Gun. I think we've already gotten the Triple H, and we've got China, so, you know, we pretty much got all, all of, all of, uh, the Generation X from when they were, um, Invading WCW. In this entire set, you get uh, Kang, which I've showed you. Lex Luger, which I'm about to show you. Stacy Keebler, which... Where are you? Where are you at, Stacey? Okay. She was still in the bag hiding. Stacy Keebler and the X-Pac, which I'm showing you right now. Alright? Okay. With that and being said, here is Stacy Ke Keebler. Um, and honestly, it's really... Mrs. Hancock. <laughs> this is her WCW persona, which I think is so cool. I was a fan of Miss Hancock, that WCW um, uh, persona that she had before she came to WWE and she was Stacey Keebler. So this is really cool to see uh, her in this gimmick that she had. I mean, if they give us a regular, regular Stacey Keebler, I, you know, from the um, ruthless aggression era. I definitely buy that too. But that's a uh, that's cool. That's 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 really cool for for them to give us this figure because it was a cool figure at the time. Stacy Keebler as Miss Hancock. So get that. So and last but not least, uh, in my opinion. The star of the set. Um, Lex Luger. Wolfpack Lex Luger. So you get that traditional Lex Luger look. With the. Um, uh, actually. Is this. Does, does this scan have a ponytail? Okay yep. This hand has the ponytail head. And you get the flared out. Kind of like the. You know he have. Either or have the ponytail. Or the. Uh, the scan where he have the smiling head, B traditional black tights, uh, black knee pads, and red and black boots for when he was uh, rolling with Sting and the rest of the Wolf Pack with Kevin Nash and Conan. So this is a really cool iteration of um, Lex Luger. But even cooler was what I found today. I ran across... Where is he at? He's hiding from me. The Variant. And I have actually forgot this was coming out uh, until I ran across it today. So this is really cool. You, you basically get the exact same figure, but uh, what makes this one significant is he has on the orange tights. And he has on the black knee pads and the white boots. So essentially you have... Uh, early 90s Lex Luger. So that that's cool to me. Uh, which uh, to me is an e even cooler iteration of... Uh, is that, am I using that word right? You guys know what I mean. Which even, is which even a cooler version. I use that word. Which is even a cooler version of Lex Luger to me. To me, his highs... I mean, it, don't get me wrong. His Wolfpack days were really cool. Um... But his to me his two well his three biggest highs in his career was his early nineties run um in WCW. Um his ninety three run in WWF, even though that didn't end that great, and his late nineties run in WCW when he won the world championship from uh, Hulk Hogan. So um yeah, that's cool. So we get a Basically, a late 90s version of, of Lex right here and an early 90s version of Lex. 
I mean, he didn't change his look that much, so you can basically use ver- both versions, but the way he dressed uh, makes it significant. So me finding this today was really damn cool. And not only uh, did I find that today, I received something in the mail um, that makes this figure even cooler. And I'll be showing you that to you guys in just a second. But first, I'm going to show you this. I ran across uh, a Ruthless Aggression figure. Now, this is a uh, Ruthless Aggression set that is exclusive to uh, Walmart. And one of the Walmarts that I hunt at, I um, ran into Batista. And in the rest of this set, I'm sure some of you guys already know, you get uh, Shawn Michaels and uh, Brock Lesnar. They had um, about four or five Batistas, and that was it. So I don't know. And I haven't seen any more any other Walmart. I will get Shawn Michaels. I will get Brock Lesnar. Um, from what I've heard, the second set is already in store, so... There you have it. The distribution is going to be shitty. But that's a cool Batista. A cool Ruthless Aggression era Batista. And Ruthless Aggression was uh, a really good era. Probably the last great era in WWE. So I will grab those figures. But I did grab that. But last but not least... Good old ringside collectibles finally sent me my Hollywood Hulk Hogan That's right y'all The NWO Elite Or NWO Wolfpack Hollywood Hulk Hogan Finally received it today from Ringside Collectibles, and it is amazing. I, guys, I have to say, I, um, you know, I was saying for a long time that the, that the Mattel Hogan's are great, but they still got a way, a long way to go before they catch up with Storm Collectibles. But the Hogan figures that they have come out with this year alone, um, have surpassed the uh, Storm Collectibles figures. Storm Collectible Hogan figures. This Hogan is awesome. And the Hogans that we got coming up are awesome. I'm talking about the No Holds Bar 2 pack, which I'm going to try to get. Man, I'm trying my best to see if I can get it. Is There's also a, um, a Mega Powers 2 pack that's coming out. Um,. There's also a Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk um, LJN style two pack. There's a part of me that actually wants to stop collecting every other figure and just concentrate on the Hogan's and then try to catch up with the rest of them because it's so expensive. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this got this video is getting very long. But I want to show you some of my uh, latest gets. And like I said, this is a cool companion piece. You got your um, NWO Wolfpack Luger and your NWO Wolfpack NWO Elite Hollywood Hulk Hogan Brother. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe. I got some more videos to show you. I got some Godzilla stuff I want to show you guys. I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want you guys to zone out. Like, share, subscribe, comment, say all kinds of crazy stuff. Talk to me about my figures, ask questions. Um, yeah, all that good stuff, man. 
It's your man, Gentleman Jack, signing out. Like, share, subscribe. Look at more videos. I'm out.